A film directed by Jesse Smollett will soon hit the silver screen. It's called B-Boy Blues and it's landed at BET+. The film debuted at the American Black Film Festival last year and it's set to make its televised premiere during Pride Month. Comedian Samson McCormick joins us now, one of the actors in the film. Thank you so much for being with us today. Welcome back to BNC. First, tell us about this film. Good morning. So uh, first of all, I am really excited about the film because it is a very important story that needs to be told. Anytime we are able to have a conversation uh, around sexuality, around what that looks like, around masculinity, the different things attached to that is always really important. Uh, and secondly, I'm not just one of the actors, I'm also the co-executive producer. So I'm happy to be, you know, pushing this out there. Well, that's terrific. Love your amplified role in this production. Give us a preview of the plot. So uh, the story is based on the 1994 uh, novel from James Earl Hardy. And it's basically a story about when two different worlds collide. So you have uh, Mitchell, who is um, he's a, a, a journalist, you know, very professional you know, about his about his business. And then he runs into this guy who sweeps him off his uh, feet named Raheem. And Raheem is about that thug life, okay? Raheem brings that thug passion in his life and rocks his world. And you know, uh, when somebody just comes into your life and starts rocking your world, you don't always make the best decisions. But he sees... Um, he sees deeply into Raheem's soul, I guess. Uh, that, that's the way to say it. I'm trying to be appropriate for the, for the screen. You know, I, I get excited telling this story. <laughs> I can see in your face. I love that. So, so basically, good. he's bad, but it feels so good. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 so you mentioned um, this is based on James Earl Hardy's book. How does it differ from the book? How does the movie differ from the book? I think the only difference uh, from the book is that it, it takes place now. Uh, the book is set in the early 90s because it originally came out in 1994. So people in the film, they have cell phones and stuff like that. Um, other than that, it's the same story. Okay, all right. Tell us about your character. Who do you play? So my character is a gun-toting, cussing, fighting somebody who don't take no mess, and they uh, have a party at his house, and he basically just is in there kicking folks out and cussing them out and carrying on. A, a no-nonsense trash talker like I am in real life. <laughs> Well, that's good to know. So there's some real authenticity in your character. I know that you worked with Jesse Smollett on this. He directed the film. So what was it like working with him? Well, uh, working with him was, was fun. Um, we've known each other now for a really long time. We knew each other before Empire and before, um, you know, where we are now. And so we've always wanted to do a project together. I will say that he and I are both very passionate, uh, strongly creative minds. So, you know, that that comes with a little bit of fighting. But we created something that we're we're very proud of. And um, I'm so happy that we get to share this with the world. All right. Well, you got to give us the tea on that. I mean, what happened? Was there a moment when you two really maybe butted heads, but then it turned into artistic beauty? Well, we butted heads because I look better than he does. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we just, we butted heads because I have my own creative vision, you know, he has his own creative vision. And, you know, when you have that much passion uh, coming together to create a project, of course you're gonna butt heads, but it was because we wanted to create something that was really good. and um, And that's what we did. And talk about the significance of this film rolling out during Pride Month. It's very important because I remember growing up looking for someone who was both um, a black dark skinned person 
And when you are not just black, but when you're also of a, a darker hue, um, that comes with its own challenges, you know, around the, how you look, uh, you know, self-worth, a lot of those things, because we're told as darker skinned black folks that we're not as attractive, that we're not as lovable. And then add on top of that being gay, you, it creates a lot of uh, internal conflicts and a lot of different uh, self-worth issues. So to be able to see a story like this with two dark skinned black gay men is going to be very affirming for a lot of people. Additionally, um, it's going to create a lot of really important conversations in the black family and in the black community. And anytime we can have a conversation where we're coming together to laugh and celebrate, that's always so beautiful. That's so amazing because Representation is everything for people to watch this and see someone who looks like them, who has a similar background than them. It breaks barriers and changes stereotypes. Yes. And so what message does this send to the black community that BET, the Black Entertainment Network, picked up this film? Yes, isn't that huge? It's on BET. When, <laughs> when I found out it was on BET, I was like, what? I had to go drink. Um, I was like, number one, I mean, anytime you do a project that gets picked up, time for celebration, right? But it's also black entertainment television. And this is where our global family as black people come to, to, to see ourselves and to have conversations. And it's just, it's huge. Um, it's BET, a BET and, and a black gay film. You know, it's that right there is a statement in itself. And it's huge growth for the network. Samson, I mean, you're a writer, a comedian, an actor, an executive producer. You do it all. So what's next for you? Who knows? <laughs> um, I am touring this summer, you know. Um, and so a part of what I do is, is make sure that I use the platform of comedy to have, again, really important conversations. You know, we laugh, but it is an opportunity for us to observe what it is that we deal with as a community. I'm also working on uh, a couple of other films. I just directed another project called Ruse Blues, and that is by, it was written by Donnie Hugh Frazier, who was in a couple of my other films. You also got to check out Love the One You're With and Party and Play. And both of those are on Amazon Prime. Those are uh, films that I wrote and produced. Well, look forward to seeing it all and continuing to follow your journey and watching you soar. Samson McCormick, thank you so much for being with us here on BNC.